In this video, we're going to look at how you can set up some meeting notes uh, within Dropbox Paper. Within Dropbox Paper, we have the Docs view, which gives you a look at your recent docs created by you, shared with you, because you can have documents shared from other Dropbox users, um, and also ones that you've deleted. You can store your documents into folders. So I've got two folders here, uh, and you can also be following other people's folders. So what we'll be doing is going into Google Docs, and I've done a sample meeting notes file in here. And I'll just show you some of the functionality. So we've got the heading up the top here. If I click on table of contents, it'll actually show me each of those. And when I click on it, it goes down to that section. Really handy for long documents. If you're going to have a lot of images in there and, and multiple, you might have say 10 pages uh, that you have to scroll through. So that's a really quick way of getting around in there. Uh, what we've done here is I've just set up each of these with H2 header tags. So um, what that has meant is when I've done like this, if I change that to say an H1, you'll notice in here everything else comes underneath that. And then if I move that back to an H2, it all brings it back there. So that all just depends on how you want to have the hierarchy in your meeting notes. Uh, to be able to add in what I've done here, which is the checkboxes, we just click on that plus button there. I love the animation of it turning into a cross because then we can take that off. Uh, but we just add in the checkboxes there. So we've just added in attendees. This section here, I've just used the insert a line there. So you'll see that under each section to keep it um, pretty nice and neat. If I wanted to add in any um, files, perhaps in the discussion section, there were some files discussed. Uh, you could say upload an image. If you were using this on say a mobile device, um, you'd be able to take a picture, uh, upload that image straight onto there. So you might be taking a picture of say a whiteboard or something that someone's brought in or something related to your project or the meeting. Uh, so you can upload the image. You could also insert it from Dropbox if that's where you're storing everything. Um, just I'll have a quick rundown of the additional features that you can add in here. You can insert a table, so say you're talking about pricing or something that needed a mini Excel spreadsheet, you'd use the insert table. That was that checklist that I used before, um, bullet list, numbered list, that line, and if you wanted to insert either an embed code or you wanted to actually use um, computer programming code and insert that into the document for some reason, that's where you'd add that in. So uh, from just the standard meeting minutes, we've gone for who's attending, the announcements of what's going on, discussion, what happened in the discussion, the topics that were actually uh, scheduled to be talked about, the decisions that were made, and the actions that were agreed upon. So for actions, we've done it with some check boxes there. And you can definitely share this document. You'll see up the top here, share. You can share that with members of your staff uh, for them to be able to mark those off. So even with when they're attending, you could have this open and just tick through and say, actually, these are the people who attended. Uh, you might come down here and you might even get Rob to be able to mark that off and Peter mark this off and Sue to mark that off. Uh, and then also have some agenda items for the next meeting that you could mark off as well. Uh, in terms of discussion of this document, if you want to make it a bit more of a, I guess, a living document rather than having discussions kept within email, what you can do either with the text, so say Rob was looking at this, he'd come in here, these are those options from before, you could turn that into a link, but you could also add a comment. So Rob might say, uh, not happy with this item. And he could post that. And then, so that's a little comment from Rob. And Peter might say, this is not fair. And he might even, let's find an, someone unhappy. Mm, this could be hard. There you go. He's added in a sticker to say that he's not happy about that. So you can have comments down the side and it will show up. Uh, you might have seen up the top here. It'll actually show uh, who the people were 
who had added different comments and different sections in there. So for me, it was showing an RP for my initials, but it would show who else uh, is on there as well. So the commenting factor would be quite interesting in terms of meeting notes. So that gives you a brief rundown of it, uh, of how to set up a meeting notes within uh, paper within Dropbox uh, and you can add this into a specific folder say for meeting notes you could favorite it up here uh, you could view the history of it and you can even print it off so that gives you a brief rundown definitely check out our course page for other courses that we're running that could be helpful for your business